Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today we are going to be doing another laundry chats video. Uh, I posted one of these a little while back and I got a pretty good response from it so I think I'm going to continue on doing them. Um, so this is basically where I'm just folding my laundry and talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's it um I kind of like to call it like mukbang style where I'm just kind of talking about whatever uh I hope you guys don't hear that there's like a really loud truck outside my house right now and my kids screaming in another room so it's a little bit crazy around here but <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to go ahead and have a little conversation with you guys let you guys know what's been going on uh with me and just get some laundry folded because I have a few loads here I've got about three loads so so if you want to go grab yourself a drink, this might be a long video, or go, better yet, go get your own laundry and fold with me. That would be awesome. <laughs> Let's have a laundry folding party. Okay, so I'm just going to um, not fold underwear in front of you guys because that's weird. <laughs> so one thing that is new that you may or may not know, I have mentioned it um, a couple of times on my channel, but I haven't really gotten in depth with it is that I have decided to open a home daycare. So yeah, I, I mean, it's something that I'm excited about, but I'm also a little bit nervous about because I really, I really, really, really want to make a career out of YouTube. And I know like so many people want to do that and there's a lot of competition and whatever, but I fully believe in the law of attraction that that is something that I can attract into my life and make that happen for myself. It just might take a little bit of time, but I know I'll get there eventually. So it's definitely something that I'm excited about because I will be making money from home. So I'll still get to stay home with my son, um, but also bring in some money for my family. So I'm excited about that, but I'm also a little bit nervous about how I'm going to continue to film and edit videos while getting this all done. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a learning curve. It's going to be an adjustment um, just because right now I'm used to having a lot of time to be able to do that. Um, some videos I'm able to film when my son is sleeping, when he's taking a nap. And uh, yeah, but if I, if I have other kids here that don't nap, when am I going to film? Like I typically try to film when, when he's napping, but yeah, if I've got other kids here that don't nap, <laughs> you know, what am I going to do? So it's definitely going to be interesting for sure to see how I can fit that in and when I can fit that in. Um, but one thing about that process that I really wanted to talk to you guys about, because I know a lot of you that are watching this are probably mamas. Um, and a lot of you probably are not stay at home mamas. So a lot of you probably have your child enrolled in some sort of daycare. And I understand that every area is going to be different. Um, but through this process of starting a daycare, I really found out how easy it actually is to start a daycare. Um, and this is just in my area. I mean, I'm sure a lot of areas have tougher rules and regulations around it but i was absolutely shocked to find that all i needed for my business license was my name my address and the description of the business that i wanted to start i did not need a criminal record check um they know nothing about my boyfriend who i live with who lives here there's they don't even have his name they never asked anything about any other adults that live in the home um, or anything like that. They did not do a home check. Well, they did. They did an outside home check. So I wasn't here the one day, but my neighbor told me that she saw somebody poking around, like around my house, like looking in the backyard and, um, which I was told that they were going to do, that they do a, a home check just to make sure that the house complies with bylaws. Um, but nobody came and looked inside my house at all. Um, and so, and I kept expecting that at some point they were going to tell me I needed a criminal record check. I was like fully prepared for that. And then they just called me the other day and they said, yeah, your business license is ready. You can come pick it up at any time. I'm like, really? That's it? Like, so for all you mamas out there that have your children enrolled in daycare or thinking about enrolling your child in daycare, you need to do some, some checking because I just assumed that my city would take care of that and make sure that they weren't just handing out business licenses to people to start daycares 
that shouldn't be <laughs> having daycares. Um, but no, they did, they did absolutely no, no legwork on that whatsoever. So I just wanted to mention that on here <laughs> for all you mamas, like make sure that you are asking your childcare provider for a criminal record check. Like that is not something that you want to mess around with because I could be anybody. I literally was a person who walked in off the street and asked for a daycare business license and got one within a month with nothing. Like it's, it, it scares me and it just make, makes me feel really grateful that I am able to stay home with my son and not have to worry about that because like in today's times, man, you like, you just don't know, like people are crazy <laughs> and there's been like so many daycares in the news of, you know, crazy things happening. And I just, I just wanted to mention that, um, just so that to make other mamas aware, you know, like this can happen. Like I did, I did not know that if I wouldn't have went to start my own daycare, I would have never known that. So like I said, I'm sure that, you know, maybe where you are, it's different, but you might want to check out, check that out and at least ask your daycare provider if they're able to provide a criminal record check, because that is scary. You, you just don't know who is opening daycares <laughs> and not being, you know, checked into. So, um, now that I've scared you all, <laughs> <laughs> then that was not my intention. I mean, I'm sure that you all are leaving your children with people that you feel are capable, but I mean, you just, you just never know. And like I said, I would not have known that if I wasn't opening a daycare myself. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm just been shocked about that all morning when I picked up my business license this morning. And I've just been shocked ever since. Like how, <laughs> how did that happen? Like just crazy to me. I, I guess they just are assuming that the parents are going to take the onus on themselves to, you know, be thinking about it. But I mean, a lot of parents probably don't like a lot of parents probably assume like I did that the city checks into all that and won't give you a business license if you have a criminal record. Like, so I don't know, just one of those things. <laughs> um, and what else? That's pretty much all that's like new going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be trying to find some clients for that. I don't want to take like a whole bunch of kids. I only want maybe like two or three. I just want to be able to contribute financially a little bit to my family, but I don't want to be like stressing myself out either. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to be taking that many kids. So what do you guys think about starting your own business, like from home? Do any of you guys do that? Do any of you guys have home businesses? I have in the past done like those pyramid type, you know, like selling jewelry stuff, like jewelry parties, Tupperware, that sort of thing. I've done that kind of stuff before. Um, I did one for a while that was called Takara. I'm not sure if any of you have heard of that. It's a jewelry line. And I was I was somewhat successful with it, but it definitely is a lot more work than you think it is. Like trying to find people to have parties and stuff like that. It it can definitely be a lot more work than you imagine when you first signed up, that's for sure. And then I also had my um my part-time nail business as well. I did that for a long time. I'm actually just just going to be stopping now with my daycare because it's just going to be too much if I'm if I'm doing nails and the daycare and trying to keep up with my house and my YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, I did nails for like 8 years. I did that just in my home. It's a part-time business. I was a I was an interior designer at Ashley Furniture for many years. Um, and then I just did the nails on the side. So, but I definitely like now that I've kind of had a taste of stay at home mom life, I definitely, I really enjoy it. I, I love being a stay at home mom. Um, and that's why I decided to choose something like opening a daycare where I could continue to do that and still kind of bring in an income because I really, at this point, don't want to go back to work. Um, I really enjoy staying at home with my son and even like when he goes off to school and stuff, I, I think I would like to stay home. So 
Yeah. So that's kind of the appeal in it for me. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys, are you guys working mamas? Do you stay home? Have you done both? What did you like better? It has been raining here for like a long time. <laughs> like it was raining for about a week and a half straight every day. And then we had a couple of nice days and then now it looks like it's going to rain again. And my poor boyfriend, he's at a golf tournament right now. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get rained on. And then a couple of days ago, he, he and his dad went to go and play some golf and they got like a huge thunderstorm just out of nowhere came down on them. So <laughs> he's not had very much luck in the golf department recently. That's for sure. It's bedding day today. I need to be switching everyone's bedding around. How often do you guys wash your sheets? I try to do it once a week, but a lot of times it ends up being like once every two weeks. And I know that might be kind of gross, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I feel like we all let things get away from us from time to time. It's hard to balance everything, you know? It can be really hard to balance everything. And I can't imagine, like, I mean, being a working mama, how do you guys get it all done? Like, how do you guys keep up with your homes, you know, keep up with your families, still have, like, some you time, still have enough time to spend with your kids? Like, how do you do it all? You guys are, like, seriously super women. Like, I can't. I don't understand how you even do it. <laughs> I hate when you wash bedding and like it gets all twisted up and then stuff like this towel was just wrapped up in a ball inside this and it's still damp. I'm going to have to redry it. Don't you hate that? <laughs> where you guys are from, is it a long weekend where you're at? We have our long weekend next weekend for Canada Day. Canada Day is on July 1st. I think most of my viewers are Canadian, so. If so, what do you guys have planned for the Canada Day long weekend? July 1st will be my first day opening my daycare. Um, and that's gonna be something that's kind of gonna set me apart from other daycares, is I know a lot of daycares do not open on weekends. Um, so that's something that's going to set me apart is that I am going to be available on weekends. So I just have to kind of be wary of who my who I'm taking because if if for instance I was going to be taking, you know, a full time Monday to Friday and then I'm also open on weekends, well, I don't want to be setting myself up to be working every single day either, right? So I might kind of be leaning more towards taking like part-time people so we'll see we'll see so far I've only got one client um, because I have not been able to do any advertising since I didn't have my business license so now I got that today so I'm going to be like putting up some posters around town and going on our town Facebook page and stuff and advertising on there that I'm opening a daycare that's open weekends. So hopefully I'll get some traffic. I only want to take, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning or not, but I only want to take a couple of kids. Um, Cause I don't want to be stressing myself out. Can you guys see me? All of a sudden I'm going to be like building up these laundry piles. <laughs> I've just got my <laughs> laundry. I'm setting it on my coffee table. Um, typically I fold my laundry in the kitchen, which is where I did my last laundry chat video, but the lighting in there is not the greatest. So this is kind of the best lighting in the house. And I really needed good lighting today because it's really cloudy outside. Like I said, it's been kind of raining. So I was like, well, I'm going to film it in here. Cause this is like the, my best window. It's just right across from our big picture window in my living room. So it's like, I need good lighting. So I'm folding laundry in here today. <laughs> <sighs> I 
this isn't gonna start getting too high. I'm gonna have to maybe just put it on the floor. You just shampoo my carpets, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, I better double check that you guys are still filming because wouldn't that be something? You guys were still filming, but uh, nervous anyway because you're at like 16 minutes. So I was like, I better just stop and restart your filming anyway, just in case. Every once in a while, like I film on my phone and every once in a while, like ever since I did an update on my phone about a month ago, I'll be filming and all of a sudden my camera will just stop and it says like camera needed to restart. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, not cool. <laughs> so there's been a couple of times where I've been filming and like lost footage because of that. <sighs> I would love to get like a camera camera to do my YouTube. Like I'm slowly starting to pick up things for it to become like more professional. I finally bought some editing software because, well, I shouldn't say finally, I bought it like six months ago, um, but I was using like free stuff and they kept on like having bugs in them and just not working properly. So I bought an editor and then I finally just got myself a tripod. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that because before I would have to like pile you guys up on like my toddler helper and books and stuff. So I'm very happy to finally have a tripod. It's made my life a lot easier when it comes to filming. So I'm very happy with that. Next, I need to get some better lighting because that's going to be another thing is, like I said, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to film for my channel. So if I end up having to do it after my son goes to bed, it's not that big a deal when it's the summertime because I have quite a bit of light for a long time. But come wintertime, I'm going to have to film like when it's dark outside and I use a lot of natural light. So I'm going to have to get some better lighting so that I'm able to film. So that's probably going to be my next thing. And then maybe after that it could be a camera. Are you guys YouTubers? What kind of camera should I get if I decide to get a camera? What is the best option to go with that's not like crazy expensive? I don't want to be spending like a thousand dollars or anything. Maybe 500 around the $500 mark. So what's a good camera for that? God, kids grow out of clothes so fast. <laughs> like, <sighs> so fast. And then, like, because we would like to have another child. And then I'm like, because we have a son. So of course I would like to have a daughter, but then also at the same time, I'm like, if we had another son, then at least like we could just reuse all the clothes that we have because we have so many. Ugh. I've been very lucky in the fact that I haven't had to buy a lot of clothes for my son. Um, my boyfriend, his sister, she has two boys. So we get a lot of hand-me-downs from them, which are, which are always still in really good condition. So that's been nice. <laughs> That's for sure. She has a daughter too, but her daughter is like quite a bit older now. So she doesn't really have all her like baby clothes still. So we wouldn't get any hand-me-downs from her. But although, I mean, you can, you can definitely save a lot of money when you buy kids clothing at like thrift sales and stuff like that. Like if you guys saw a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a kid's um, thrifting haul and my local thrift store they have like a sale I think it's once a month they do 50% off of, of clothing and stuff like that and like if you buy if you're able to get a deal like that then like my goodness you can buy so much stuff for so cheap so that's when you buy I rarely buy like brand new clothes for my son like from Carter's um, we got a lot of Carter's gift cards and stuff like for my baby shower when we have him and I still have some money left on those cards so if there's ever something that he needs that I can't find at a thrift sale or something then I will go and I like spend the gift card and get it so it's just it's insane to spend that much money on kids clothes when they are gonna grow out of it in like a month <laughs> it's just crazy Another thing, you guys, is that I think that my son has been trying to drop his naps. Like, he just turned two in May, on May 1st, 
and like the last two weeks I've been trying to give him naps every day and he has just like been refusing to take them he just like farts around in his crib and plays around and and I feel like he's not ready to drop his naps because he gets so grouchy without them but he's not taking them like I don't know what to do <laughs> You guys have that problem like what do you do do you just let him stop napping i feel like two is it's pretty young to stop napping especially when he gets so grouchy without them he kind of makes you feel like he still needs them but he's just being stubborn is that sleep regression thing i don't know well you guys i'm getting to the end of this laundry I actually really like doing these laundry videos. I think they're really easy to do and it kind of makes a menial task somewhat interesting. A lot of times I'll just like watch watch um, TV or YouTube or something when I'm folding laundry. But this at least makes it interesting and it's content, right? <laughs> Right. I think that's pretty much it. All these mismatched socks, like where do they go? I don't understand. And I gotta just like separate everybody's piles out. So I can put everything away. What is your guys' least favorite chore? I think I asked this in my last one. Like, do you guys hate folding the laundry? What do you hate doing? I don't mind folding the laundry, but for some reason I don't like doing the laundry. I think it's because our laundry room is in the basement. And I think that's why. I think I find it a pain in the butt to have to go downstairs and up the stairs with, with my laundry. I feel like if my laundry was on the same floor, was on the top floor, then I wouldn't have an issue with it. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, I know that seems kind of dumb, but I, I think honestly think that's what it is. <laughs> I think that's why I don't like it. You guys, that was three loads of laundry. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, leave me something like random in the comments that only people that watched this far will know. Leave me, leave me a pink heart in the comments if you watched to the end. And we'll see. I'm, I have a feeling probably not too many people will be leaving me pink hearts. But if you left me a pink heart, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you watching this long video. And I hope it gives you some mo some motivation to get your own laundry done. Anyways, I'm going to go and put all this laundry away. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.